Are you in the club? Hey guys, welcome back to DCTC. This is Amy Jo, and today I'm going to be showing you the new Project MC Squared, Michaela McAllister and her lava light. Okay, so before I open this up, I want to show you the characters from Project MC Squared. Of course, this is Michaela McAllister, and she's kind of the main character of the show. And then there is Bryden Banwith, Adrian Adams, and Cameron Coyle. And the show that they're on is on Netflix. It's called Project MC Squared, and it is a really, really good show. I've been watching it, and I really like it. And I did open Adrian, and we made a volcano that came with a kit. And we also made one out of Play-Doh. So you guys should check out that video if you haven't seen it. And now, let's open Michaela. One of the things that I love most about this is that the um, program and the characters focus a lot on how cool it is to be smart. And they also have aligned this with the um, STEM curriculum or sometimes you'll hear STEAM curriculum. And STEM is science, technology, engineering, and math. And then this one has art and I've heard of STEAM curriculum as well. Science, technology, engineering, art, and math. And so each character kind of has one area of specialty. Oh, are we gonna be able to get her out of here? Let's see. I'm gonna need some scissors. Okay, well, here she is out of the box. I had to use some scissors and some brute force <laughs> to get her out of the box, but I did it. And this is a outfit that she wears on the show a lot. I love this t-shirt. It looks like notebook paper. It says, I didn't know what to wear today, so I put on this t-shirt. And she has beautiful eyes. One of the things that I love about these dolls is that they have really realistic looking eyes. She has gorgeous eyelashes and some freckles and just a really nice expression on her face. She also comes with this little beanie and Michaela is kind of a hipster chick. So this is, this is her look. So she wears this beanie a lot and it goes perfectly with her combat boots. <laughs> they look like Doc Martens, don't they? So she has on boots and tube socks and those are both removable. And then she has on some little denim shorts with a little floral print. She also comes with a comb and it looks like a beaker, like a beaker from chemistry class. Michaela likes the sound of rain, upcycling, frozen yogurt with lots of toppings. She loves to journal and she likes to try to save the world. <laughs> she does not like lies, pessimism, or humidity. Okay, so this is one of our Michaela's and I have another Michaela and she comes with a lava light kit. So let's get her out of the box and we can compare them. Here she is. So she's definitely very similar looking. She has a different outfit. So she has on, actually it's like a jean jacket with black leather sleeves and a really cute owl t-shirt. She's got on some jean shorts and then some over the knee socks. And I guess that's another pair of boots. <laughs> also like Doc Martens, those are cool. I like the way that Michaela dresses. So one thing that is really different about this doll is that she has a lot more movement. So she is articulated at the elbow. Her hands are removable. You can pop those on and off so that I guess you can dress her more easily. She bends at the knee and think maybe, I don't know, let me, let me just take her shoe and sock off. I think she bends at the ankle too. And the first Michaela that I opened is not articulated. She doesn't have any Hardly any movement. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, her legs come off too. <laughs> her, her legs come apart at the knee. That was an interesting way of discovering that. Goodness, I can't get the boot off. I know it comes off. Okay, I got it. It took both hands. <laughs> I had to put my hands on my um, lap 
and pull really hard to do that. So we need to put her back together, don't we? So she just kind of snaps back together. She is really bendy. I wanna show you one little detail that is adorable. She has a little ring that has an MC square on it. See the MC and the little number two? And did you notice that her name, her first name and her last name both start with MC? So she's Michaela McAllister. So she is MC squared. <laughs> now let's compare their faces. Their faces are identical. Isn't she lovely? But when we get to her arm, you can see there's no articulation. So the one that comes with the kit is the one that has the removable hands and I guess legs. <laughs> and then she's the one that bends at the knees and the elbows. So if you're looking for a doll that has that type of mobility, you would want to get the one with the kit versus the one that is just the doll. And another thing to mention is that the dolls that come with the kits have doll stands. I'm actually using Adrian's for this one, but for the Adrian that came with the Lava Light kit, she also came with the doll stand. And speaking of the lava lamp, here it is. So this is what we are going to be using very shortly to do a science experiment. And Michaela also comes with this little backpack, which opens up. Ugh, it's kind of hard <laughs> to open it. There we go. And also with her journal. So actually we might be able to fit that right in her little well, no, actually, I don't think it will fit in her backpack. So we have that, and then we have some instructions for making our lava light. All right, so to make the lava light, we need a couple of things that are not included. We need water, vegetable oil, food coloring, and effervescent tablets. <laughs> So I'm not exactly sure. I have these which I use to clean my retainer from when I had braces and it's like um, a fuzzy little thing that has cleaner so I think that this should work fine. And then we have some food coloring, a measuring cup, water, and some vegetable oil. Okay so the first thing that we're going to do is add one drop of food coloring to our one cup of water. Then we will be pouring the colored water into the lava light. Let's use blue. And it said to just do one drop. So there is one drop. That looks really cool. Maybe I'll stir it up using the little comb. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we're going to remove the lava lamp from the base. We do that just by unscrewing it. And then we're going to pour some of the colored water, not very much, into the lava lamp. And now we add the vegetable oil right to this line. Whoa, that looks cool. Now I'm going to break this little tablet up and drop one piece into the lava lamp. I'm gonna put the lid back on and place it into the base. Now, if you guys look closely right here, you'll see a lot of bubbles. Do you see that? And there is a little light in the base. Let's see, did it turn on? It's on, maybe I should turn off these lights. Hmm, I want you to be able to see the light in there. Doesn't that look awesome? Unfortunately, the light in the lava lamp is not bright enough for you to be able to see. Hmm, let me try something. There. Oh my gosh, that is the coolest thing. How does that work? Well, Princess Anna, let's ask Michaela to explain. Well, Princess Anna, it's actually easy to explain. 
The oil that Amy Jo poured into the water has fewer molecules, and so it floats on the top. And the bubbles are from the effervescent tablet. <gasps> Fascinating. I love science. Yeah, isn't it cool? You know what else is cool about this? You can dump this out and do this over and over with any color food coloring that you want. So if you wanted to make this pink or green or red, you would just dump it out. And instead of adding blue water, you would add the color of water that you want. You can also continue adding the little effervescent tablets to make more and more bubbles. Science really is cool. Whoa, look at it go. Have you guys seen enough? I have one more thing I wanna show you. Traditional lava lamps are red, but I was thinking if you didn't want a red lava light in your room, you could modify it with Play-Doh. To do that, wrap Play-Doh all around the base, and then if you let it set for a couple of days, it will get kind of hard. When you get tired of the color of Play-Doh that you have on it, you can just pick it off. It'll kind of crack away. And you can either have a red light again, or you can add a different color Play-Doh. And then you could modify the lava light in all kinds of ways. You could do different color bases, and different color food coloring. Okay, I have my purple all around the base, and then I added some at the top, and now I'm just going to finish it by cutting this, and adding that to the back, and pressing that in. And if you wanted to get really crafty, you could even take some Play-Doh, and put a little line of Play-Doh right around the middle. And then you would have a totally customized lava lamp. Here's how mine turned out. Okay guys, that's it for this Project MC Squared video. I had a blast and I hope you enjoyed it as well. If you did and would like to see more Project MC Squared videos, you can let me know by clicking on the like button. I have lots of projects and I would love to share them with you. Make sure that you guys leave me a comment and tell me if you would leave the lava light red or if you would modify it with Play-Doh. I think I would modify mine with Play-Doh so that it matched my room. Let me know what you do, okay? For more fun videos, check out the rest of our channel and if you like it, I hope you'll subscribe. This is Amy Jo with DCTC. Thanks for watching. Another video, that's the end. Come back soon or we'll miss you, friend. DC, TC. We do toy reviews. DC, TC. And we play with Play-Doh, too. Skits, pranks, eggs and toys. We make videos for girls and boys. Uh-huh, uh-huh, that's right. <laughs>